All right, so right you can see I have the SD card installed on Lumia 20 and this is the option that comes in after you first install an SD card on Windows Phone. It clearly says if you want to store new pictures, music and videos on this SD card. So we'll say yes and let's see what happens. So that's about it. So low SD card space. So your SD card is slow on storage space. You can change source settings and settings and Windows Store. So that's the kind of message you get in your low. So we'll go to settings. Uh, let me choose phone storage. So like you can see it's already 1.83 GB used. So there's not much of space left. So I can just tap on it and there's other free storage music videos and stuff there so now if you want to format this you can format the SD card and you know you can have the space clear and then you can use it so that's how you actually store the pictures and everything on the SD card on Windows Phone our next video will take you to a tour of you know how it looks like on the computer and how the SD card shows up on the computer when you connect your phone through the USB cable. Stay tuned. Alright, so like you can see I have connected my Lumia 20 which has a SD card and that's what it shows up like. You have the main storage and the SD card along both at the same place. So like if you go to SD card, this is from my Blackberry, I think Blackberry curve I had. So that's the reason uh, it was showing up a lot of space use so I can just drop it off and even I can format it right from here. Okay I don't get a format option but you can format it from your um, Windows phone like the option we saw. So the next video will take you to a small tour on how you can format your SD card from Windows phone. Thanks for watching. Alright, so we already saw what happened when I mean, you insert SD card and how it looks like on your computer and it also gives a message when you go low on storage and you can change your phone settings and everything. So we'll go to settings and see what how you can format and create more space on the SD card. So for that you need to go to actually phone storage. Okay, here it is. So that's the phone storage part. So you can see my SD card is complete and this is the fun and I can actually go and change it to phone or SD card whatever. Save pictures on SD card and music and videos on very well. So you can choose between any of these two depending on your choice. If you have less SD card storage you can go and choose to store it on uh, movies and movie videos on the phone storage. While SD card can only take care of the pictures depending how you can do. So we'll just go and format it and see what happens. So we'll say yes. SD card found. So you know, since the formation format is complete and you know it test it takes it as a new SD card. So this is the option you will see it again. So we'll say yes. And like you can see, I have a free storage of 1.83 GB and everything. So we'll go back and you have free storage and now I can choose where to store I can choose it to store it on my phone music and videos while the pictures can stay on SD card so that way it will be easy now remember one thing whatever you do the old pictures and videos and music will not be transferred to SD card automatically it's not built like that that's a kind of drawback I would love to have everything transferred if the space is there but that option is not there so whenever you insert a new SD card, you'll take as a new settings and create it. If you format it again, it acts as a new SD card. So that's how you format your SD card on Windows Phone and manage space there. Thanks for watching.